Hey, what's going on everyone? Just the start of the week, we haven't got through Monday and really big news. Norfolk State is now the fourth school to opt out of spring football for the MEAC. That leaves the conference with five schools who intend to play the 2021 spring football season. Coach Latrell Scott made the announcement today and we've heard it all before. It's a tough decision. People have labored with these decisions, but it all comes down to the pandemic, student health. That's on one side of the equation. That should be the most important thing for everyone. But you also have to look at these kids have not played football in what? Over a year where they are conditioning, just overall rust. The coaches are seeing this and you have to ask yourself now, I'm just a fan, a member of the media, whatever you want to call it. but. Do they really want to put that product in a spotlight <laughs> spring football season when no one else hardly is playing? You might get some eyeballs that you don't normally get. And is that the product, a very rusty one, potentially, that you want to put out there? That's speculation on my part, a question to throw out to you guys, something that we can all talk about. But when it comes down to it, there has been plenty of resistance of playing spring football. So we've had four schools opt out in the MEAC. You had the two schools in Florida, FAMU and Bethune-Cookman, North Carolina Central, and now Norfolk State. That leaves the MEAC with five schools. And you have to think, <laughs> will the MEAC even be able to pull off the spring football schedule as it stands right now. If they have any more opt outs, it almost looks like it would be an impossible endeavor. Now, we have seen the idea of maybe whoever wants to play in the MEAC and, you know, whoever wants to play in the SWAC. We've only seen one defection there with Alcorn State. Maybe they can do a <laughs> interleague play, <laughs> if you will, between the SWAC and the MEAC. That's been tossed around online. I thought about it one day. I was like, mm, maybe. But at the end of the day, I think this period is going to be best utilized as an extended spring practice because, again, not looking past the pandemic. That is the most important thing, people's health. But when you just look at the football side of it, these kids have not played in a year. Football is not a game that you can just take off and pick back up like as pinnacle or something, all right? So a lot of things to consider, and we're starting to see the pressure build as the spring season gets closer, more and more schools deciding that that is not the route that they want to go. Now, what do you guys think? Should we scrap spring altogether? Should we still stick it out with whoever wants to play? Should it just be an extended practice and let's go all in on the fall? There are options remaining on the table, but the pool of teams continuing to get smaller and smaller. Let's talk about it and let's see what happens next. It's only Monday and the schedule that we're supposed to have in the spring now, less than two weeks away. In Atlanta, I'm Tali Carr. Hope you guys had a great Monday and let's be awesome the rest of the week. We'll talk to you soon.